Veganism is a widely used diet and lifestyle across the world. Whether it is used for health purposes, animal rights, or religious reason, you can find some form of it throughout history and in modern times. In this video, we will look at a brief history on veganism and also the positive and negative effects that your body takes on when using this diet. Let's get started. So, if we want to talk about veganism, we must first talk about vegetarianism. Vegetarianism is first spoke about by the Greek mathematician and philosopher Pythagoras of Samos, about 500 BC. Along with his theorem about right triangles, Pythagoras encouraged goodwill amongst all species, including humans. Religious devotees of Buddhism, Hinduism, and Jainism also promoted vegetarianism and have faith in that humans should not impose pain on other animals. Vegetarianism did not catch on in the western side of the world, but would gain support during fitness trends or spiritual revitalizations. Founded in 1732, a strict religious organization, the Ephra de Cloister, promoted vegetarianism along with celibacy. In the year 1847, the first vegetarian society was founded in England. Reverend Sylvester Graham, the inventor of the Graham Cracker, co-founded the American Vegetarian Society three years later. Almost 100 years later, in November 1944, Donald Watson, a British woodworker, stated that since vegetarians consume eggs and dairy, he would coin a new name, vegan, for individuals who do not consume eggs and dairy. Time Magazine stated in their article, A Brief History on Veganism, that by the time Watson had died at age 95 in 2005, there were 250,000 self-identifying vegans in Britain and 2 million in the U.S. Moby, Woody Harrelson, and Fianna Apple are vegans. So is Dennis Krusinich. Okay, so now that we have talked about how veganism came to be, let's talk about the positive effects about turning vegan. One positive effect of becoming vegan is that a vegan diet consists of a richer nutrient intake. Since in a vegan diet you will be removing animal and meat products, you will have to rely on other sources of nutrients such as nuts, whole grains, vegetables, fruits, beans, seeds, and peas. According to Healthline.com, several studies have reported that vegan diets tend to provide more fiber, antioxidants, and beneficial plant compounds. They also appear to be richer in potassium, magnesium, folate, and vitamins A, C, E1, E2, E3, and E4. Another benefit to becoming vegan is that vegans tend to have lower death rates than meat eaters. According to Medical News Today, in 2016 a study demonstrated a 2% increase in the risk of death for every 10% increase in calories obtained from animal protein. In particular, eating red and processed meats are linked to an increased chance of premature death. This suggests that not eating meat reduces the overall risk of mortality. The last positive effect on the human body when becoming vegan is that it can help a person lose excess weight. According to Healthline.com, an increasing number of people are turning to plant-based diets in the hope of shredding excess weight. This is perhaps for good reason. Many observational studies show that vegans tend to be thinner and have lower body mass indexes than non-vegans. In addition, several randomized controlled studies report that vegan diets are more effective for weight loss than the diets they are compared to. In one study, a vegan diet can help participants lose 9.3 pounds, more than a controlled diet over an 18-week study period. Interestingly, participants on the vegan diet lost more weight than those who followed calorie-restricted diets, even when the vegan groups were allowed to eat until they felt full. What's more, 
A recent small study compared the weight loss effects of five different diets concluded that vegetarianism and vegan diets were just as well accepted as semi-vegetarian and standard western diets. Even when they weren't Following their diets perfectly, the vegetarian and vegan groups still lost slightly more weight than those on a standard Western diet. So those are the positive things about a vegan diet. Now we will look at the negative side of becoming vegan. According to sfgate.com, a long-term study in which omnivores adopted a vegan diet found that veganism increased risk of vitamin B12 deficiency. The study published in April 2012 followed 20 participants for 5 years. Half ate an entirely natural vegan diet and half ate vitamin B12 fortified foods. The results showed a significant decrease in vitamin B12 levels and those who ate a non-supplemented vegan diet, while vitamin B12 levels were preserved in those who consumed fortified foods. Researchers concluded that vitamin B12 fortified foods may be a valuable alternative for vegans who prefer not to take vitamin supplements. In addition, infants of vegan mothers risk permanent nerve damage and impaired growth from early vitamin B12 deficiency. Vegan mothers who breastfeed fail to supply their babies with sufficient amounts of this essential vitamin, according to Pediatric Nutrition in Practice. Another negative effect of turning to the vegan side is that it takes time for the body to respond to the diet change. According to butternutrition.com, due to the body's incredible ability to adapt, the decline of health due to a vegan diet is often slow and gradual. This can make it very difficult to detect. At first, you may not notice the lack of fat soluble nutrition you're getting and that the protein deficiency is hurting your health. Because your body will first exhaust your nutritional bank account, it may be many months or years until nutrition deficiencies cause impaired detoxification, thyroid issues, and or hormonal imbalance. The last negative effect of becoming vegan is not having enough zinc in your diet. According to Livestrong.com, without zinc your immune system cannot properly function and zinc also plays a key role in cell division and helping your body to form proteins. While zinc can be found in both animal and plant products, your body absorbs this mineral more readily through animal-based foods. Signs of zinc deficiency may include a loss of appetite, unintentional weight loss, loss of taste or sense of smell, hair loss, poor wound healing, and depression. I hope you've enjoyed this video and taking the time to see the history of veganism and a few positive and negative effects of the vegan diet. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I get a good grade.